And if actually, if they could not even find a stone, look good for them, they will create a stone. They will bring a sheep milk. They will milk it over the dust. And look what they do. And they perform tawaf around it. This is Islam. They go. Uh, okay, somebody is a Muslim. He's saying, I cannot comprehend. Okay, why you don't let us see? Let us call you. Shall we call you? Maybe you can comprehend. Maybe you are a smart person. We are not, my friend. What he can do? Hey, let me call you. I cannot comprehend, man. This is the opinion of our friend here. Muhammad and in Skype texting me. He is saying we cannot comprehend. Yeah, he will not answer. Call decline. Call decline. Do you see the call declined? You cannot comprehend. And the funny is saying, he is saying to us, this is what explained by people from the seventh century. Well, your prophet is the one who is explaining it, not the people. And your Quran was from the seventh century, so what we can do with it? Oh, he cut the line by mistake. Let us call him then. I'm just muting the, the, the ring so you will not bother you until he answer. Hello? Okay, my friend, you said we cannot comprehend. Explain to us what do you mean? You're giving a lot of examples of okay. what people spoke about uh, 1400 years back. Right. You need to put yourself in their shoes too. No problem. And? So when uh, they are explaining stuff to people from 1400 years back, okay. they will understand simple terms which, uh, which, which is easy for them to understand. Like for example, mm. if you take, uh, go 100 years back and say, I can speak to somebody and watch him on YouTube and look at his face also at the same time. Mm. They will laugh at you, right? Mm. Okay, I will give you an example. In the Bible it says that the earth is hanged on nothing and it is a globe. Well, people, they can laugh at the one who said that at that time. Who care? Are you going to tell me, are you telling me that your prophet was giving us false information just because people at that time, they are dummy? Oh. See, I'm trying to justify what you're saying with the examples you're quoting. You're going to some other reference now. No, I'm not going to any reference. If Allah Prophet, he speak, you see, when the guy he asked, uh, when Muhammad, he asked the guy, he said to him, do you know where the sun set? Muhammad did not say, I do not know. He did not say only Allah knows. Uh, the guy, he said to him, Allah and his prophet knows best. And the one he's voluntarily talking is Muhammad. He's the one who is mentioning the topic. It's not even the guy. So he said to him, Allah and his apostle knows best. So Muhammad here, he claimed that his knowledge is coming from Allah. Now, let me ask you, my friend, if Allah is God, you are a Muslim, right? Hello? Hello? He stopped talking for some reason. I don't know why. Hello? Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? I hear you now. Okay. So listen carefully. So when, when, uh, when the guy said to your prophet, Allah and his apostle know best or better, Muhammad right away he says, it goes, i.e., trouble, uh, till prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. So what the point of this? Why you are saying false information? The guy did not even ask you. The man did not even ask. Why you are giving false information? According to you, the reason is, at that time, people are naive. Are you saying to me that Muhammad was naive too? And this is what, like, naive explained to a naive? I'm waiting for your answer. Are you there? Do you want me to hang up on you? You have nothing to say?
הלו? 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 Yeah, I'm talking to you. What happened? Okay, my friend, I, I'm not, I don't want to waste my time. Um, do you see how, how even they come with the conclusion? All right, go ahead. Yeah. Now, again, I'm trying to understand and see, like you are explaining a lot of stuff. Okay. Because I don't have any offense against you explaining anything, but I'm just trying to tell you that you need to comprehend that what he's explaining from a time, which is 1,400 years back. Hmm. Okay. And you're trying to explain the same things now with the today's understanding, which is not fair. You see, no, you, you see, to I, see the, the to problem is people who no, no, are no. from that century. No, you see, the problem is you don't understand that we are talking about somebody who he claimed that he got his knowledge from God. So time doesn't count for him. If I receive my knowledge from God, then what difference is going to make if I'm speaking 10,000 years ago or 10 billion years ago? If God is the one who has told me, and God is, exists before time, so my knowledge have nothing to do with that time and this time. This is the knowledge of God. That doesn't make a difference. That doesn't make a difference. No, it makes a huge exactly. difference. No, if God, it, let we me ask you, is, is your God, are, okay, are you saying your God, are you saying now that your God, he gave wrong what? explanation? You gave, you said something, let me explain one, let me tell you how foolish what you're saying is. Okay, go you're ahead. You're saying that because God said something, it has to be correct like that. Okay, now mm. go back to the same example again, which is you're saying like God, you're saying God said that, right? Okay, for example, if God had to tell Muhammad at that time mm. that, you know, you will, one day you will have a mobile in front of you, you can see the other person face to face and talk to him. How do you think Muhammad will explain that to the people? What does this have to do with the mobile now? We are talking about the and sun. The, it is something they can see. The, the mobile yeah. is not something anyone knows. So what does this have to do with this? Who is the foolish here? We are talking about the sun. Everybody at that time knew the sun, don't they? Don't they? they see it every day. So it is yeah. not something yeah. new, it's not something mysterious. It is the sun, and the sun is disappearing the, during the sunset. So Muhammad is trying to explain what happened when the sun goes, where is the sun goes going? Well, why we don't see it at night? So when you say to me, well, what if Allah told Muhammad about the mobile? That is very silly, because first of all, why you wanna tell him about the mobile boy anyway? Secondly, and why Muhammad volunteered to talk about it? He is the one who volunteered to talk about the sun, the sun going, and he is the one now who is giving details. So it's not like a guy, you know, somebody asked him, he did not know what to say, he gave his own opinion. As you see that you Muhammadan, you believe that Muhammad, he speak only by inspiration from Allah. Is that correct? Yeah, you finished? Is that what you agree? Do you agree that Muhammad speak only by inspiration from Allah? You asked me a you asked me a hundred questions and you want to make the answer only to the last this, this point. Is, this is the only question I ask. I did not ask one. No. I said, don't you, you, you believe? Went on about don't the you mobile, believe? You went no, on about I was at first. I was explaining. I was, exp I was explaining my. One topic, which is I was something explaining my answer for you. I did not give you a question. I, I, I said to you that Muhammad. No, but your theory, explanation. Your that, explanation is not like a conversation. Your explanation is you're telling a story. And then friend, after you come friend, to somebody, you are right. It's, it's not me who made the explanation. It's your prophet. It's, it's immaterial. It's immaterial. What whatever material? Whatever he can explain. Okay, you know what? Whatever he can explain, I want you to he help can explain me. only in okay, a way. I want you to help me. I want you. I can want understand. you. understand. My friend, I want you to help me. When Muhammad, he quote the verse from the Quran, and he told all this story before he explained the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. I want you, by being the smart person, and obviously one smart like you, explain to me how Muhammad connected the movement of the sun during the sunset, and he is quoting a verse from the Quran saying, and the sun runs into a degree. What do you think? One second, I'm just trying to adjust the volume here so that uh, I don't hear myself twice. Just to mute uh, YouTube. Keep yourself yeah, in Skype. YouTube, is YouTube muted now? My my friend, my YouTube, my YouTube, not my YouTube, your YouTube, your YouTube, because so you will not have yeah, to. Yeah, my voice. YouTube. Yeah, mute yeah, my YouTube. YouTube. Is it muted M now? I don't hear you. Is it I, muted I, now? I hear only your voice. Good. Your, for me, your voice okay, is fine. fine. Yeah. So now, it's, it's okay me. now? Let, let me repeat my question. When Muhammad he says that this is the explanation, the statement of Allah interpretation of Allah's statement, and the sun runs its fixed course for a term and decree. 
how we can connect the word of Allah, which is a Quran, that the sun runs every day in the decree, and this is why Muhammad explained the sunset, how you can make that both match without coming to a very huge, stupid scientific error. Go ahead. Yes, exactly. Obviously, the people of that time, they mm -hmm. understood it. You don't understand it now. I don't understand it now. But the people of that time, they understood it. That's why the religion has spread so much now. The people of that time understood it. How they understood it? However they understood it. That's not my problem. That's not your problem. You're trying to pinpoint something else. But uh, at that time, the people did understand okay. it. How your, they followed him. how your prophet understood it? However he understood it, however he explained it to the people, doesn't really matter. But people understood it. People matter. followed so, him. So why you are calling me? If it doesn't matter for you, it doesn't matter for me, it doesn't matter for them, it doesn't matter for everybody. Are you from the doesn't matter party in India? Yes, because because you're giving wrong explanation here. That's well, why. I'm not explaining. Here we go. It's in front of you. It's your product, yeah, he says, the sun goes, okay, wrong. I want you to help me, my friend, my friend, my friend, my explanation is wrong, I want you to help me. The sun, he, he said, the sun goes every day and prostrate under the throne of Allah, and then one day will ask for permission and Allah will not give it permission, and he will order to go to, from the west, go back from the west. Explain that to me, go ahead. Okay, very I, simple, you, okay. th you think God can't do that? So, so this what that? happened. So okay, thank you. So you agree that no, answer me. So, answer me first. Answer me. Do you think God can't do that? Which God? Your God? He cannot do anything. Whichever God. There's only one God. You think God can't do well, that? Here we go. Your God do not even know where the sun goes. Answer me. Can God do that? Or friend, not? No, he cannot do that. Your God cannot do that. Prove right. it to me. Then Secondly, he cannot be God. You see, then he if, cannot your be God, God. if your God in, then order, he in be order, God. order to be able to do then that, then he cannot be God then. Listen, listen. Right? In order in order to do to do this that. This is your, your own argument. Listen, 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 listen. Your listen, own listen. argument. You say your that God, if your God, God cannot do something, he's not God. To me, but then again, okay, you contradict your own self and you say that God can do only certain things and God cannot do certain things. No, I did not say that. No, I did, not, I did not say that. I said, you're God. There is only one God, CP. Oh, my friend, this is, your, God. this is your own statement. If you statement. don't believe that, yeah, I believe this, there's only this one is God. Your, I believe this, this is, is true. I believe this is true. This is, this is true. I agree with you. There's only one God, but this is not Allah. And the proof in front of your eyes. Because when you say to me that Allah, He can do that, He can do that. He can He can send the sun back from the, uh, from the, uh, from the west, but the sun doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> That is your view of it. Like, for example, if you're a painter what and you're painting... What, what my listen view? to me, listen to me. Listen, yeah, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Let me explain. Mm. If you're a paint, if you're a giraffe, okay? And you're, you're painting a picture. Mm. Imagine the giraffe, his head is on top and he's painting a picture of a lion. What will that lion look to him like? He's looking so, at it from top. So in this case, who is the giraffe? Your prophet is the giraffe or your God is the giraffe and Muhammad is the lion? I don't He's know. It. See, see how your thinking goes when I say... No, say, I'm not, you know, because what does have to do with this, my friend? Did Muhammad give a, a, like a point of a view which is not real, taking it from Allah, or he gave a point of a view which is real? He gave a point of view which was real for the people of the 14th, uh, sorry, for the 7th century. So are you saying... Uh, like okay, so you are saying the Quran is not match for today, it's a stupid book for today. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying this was for the people of the seventh century. No problem. For people now, okay. so the people now, the look at it century, like how you are looking at it differently and finding so much of faults with it. Okay. In your point of view, you're not putting it to the seventh century point of view. Okay. Let, let me let me let me go with you. Why Muhammad did not say something very smart? And as long as he is a prophet and the believers they believe in him anyway, whatever he say. As an example, your prophet, he says, when you believe, when you convert to Allah, Allah will make you, will have you, give you endless penis. I mean, which one is a crazy? Endless penis or the sun? You know, just tell them the sun doesn't go anywhere. So you believe where, in where this. You, you, be, you believe. Where, listen, where did he mention like that? Listen, endless penis. Where did he mention that? If I show it to you, what you will do? Show it to me. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. I haven't seen that. I haven't heard of that before. Okay, let us you see. Show, you will show it to me from where? Some, uh, some, uh, some other person talking something again, which is going to be again that person trying to explain something in the terms of which people can understand from that time. So at that time, you tell people to, to, that you will have endless penis to explain what? Where? Show me that first. You're talking no, about I'm, something you're not showing I to show me. You because show you, me. Because your, your game is that this is goes from uh -huh. that time. So I'm asking you, when your prophet, he mentioned that you will no. have an endless penis. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. That was not what I said. See, you changed. Okay. You didn't uh, get what I, I said. Again, I said what, tell me again, because maybe I, maybe, maybe I got you wrong. Maybe I got you wrong. Go ahead. Yes. Hmm. It was explained in hmm. such a way that the people of that time could understand. Not for that time. You get it? It was explained in such a way for the people of that time to understand so it. It was a wrong explanation, you mean? No, it was the right explanation. I gave you the example from the very beginning, CP. I told you a mobile phone example, which I gave you. Okay, if you uh, hundred years back, you go and you you talk about a, a mobile phone and see the people will laugh at you, right or wrong? Uh, but uh, so show me like that. But so for fourteen hundred years we, back, when we are, when, talking, uh, when things we are, are to, to we people, talking, we are talking about a real object which is known. It's not something if Muhammad he say, uh, people they will be wondering what is what is that, right? I mean, Muhammad, he is exactly. already... Exactly. Yeah, I'm just giving you an example, CP. You don't okay. have to take it literally. No problem. It's no, just an no, example. No, pro no problem. No problem. So, you Muslims, everything Muhammad, he says, is unseen anyway. And many of it is crazy. Like, uh, Suleiman, he have a flying carpet. And uh, he have a ring. And he have, uh, you know, uh, he died uh, He died standing and almost for a year. And nobody noticed because he was holding a stick. How come those things is okay for you? And it's for that time. Is that is it for that time or this is stupid? Sorry, but for that time. I don't know the context of why and what those uh, verses were released for. What do you mean? What what the context? Suddenly now you don't know the context. Yeah, I don't know why those verses were released and how was the context. I I wouldn't be able to understand that because I'm not from that time. I have to be a scholar to go and uh, understand all those things. I'm just trying to explain okay, to you so now, very, very so simple So now we things. have to be scholars to go and understand what it's mean, right? That's your view of it again. My friend, it is, but now we are reading from the scholars. You see, okay, can you tell me one of the yeah, scholars? Again, can, you, can, reading, you tell me, uh, can you tell me the scholar who did not agree with this? Okay, you're talking about scholars from which time, from current time or from that time? But I thought the Which scholars. scholars are you I about? thought the scholars who would understand it is only the scholars from that time. Yes, yes. But scholars from that time explain things for people of that time to understand it as per what they knew so, at that time. So point, Do you understand what that? the point of the scholars at that time explain what it's meant at that time? If it is the same when it says at that time, so nothing changed. There's no explanation. I mean, why? No, you even, go to the modern why, scholars. Why, you go to the modern why scholars. Why even? Why even this one need explanation? I mean, how how clear yes, it is where the, the sun goes. In that case. Why, where the sun goes, the sun goes under the throne of Allah. Uh, let me ask you: Is the throne of Allah have that's a size? A, that's, an, that's an image which you have to understand. Do Look at that image. Do the throne of Allah. Look at that image. Is the throne of Allah is something physical? Yeah, is I it, understand that. You've been repeating a, no, no, this from no, the let, beginning. Let us go to understand You've been today. repeating this from the beginning. I heard I you. Go. I heard you. I will go. With I you. heard you from the beginning about this. Okay. okay? That image of the throne and the sun going up and down and under or whatever. That is an image which the people from the 7th century could mm. understand as per that explanation. But when you explain it in today's terms, we have gone much more advanced in the world. So mm. our knowledge, our technology has so, gone much more so advanced. You, you so for us saying, it looks funny. You are saying Allah at the 7th century, he gave us wrong information and purpose because at that time we were stupid. Who was explaining it at that time? The scholars. We're talking about the scholars, remember. You're prophet. Not, we're not talking about God. We're talking no, about the scholars. No, Allah is the one who explained it, not the scholars. The scholars, they, they just uh, to tell the naive like you what it's meant. That's all. Yeah. Even, even if it's God explaining it, then uh -huh. it's God is using the words which the people will understand from that time, hmm. 1400 years back. No problem. I will go with you. So Allah, he used words so we can understand at that time, but the word he used, it became a cartoon. It's a stupid. So what the benefit of this? Now all uh, that's anyone, your view. anyone, anyone that's who your believe, view. No, this is not my view. That's only Any, your view. Anyone, Nobody else's anyone view. who believe in this now, he think the sun really goes and prostrate at the throne of Allah and ask for permission. And one day, and remember, this is something will happen in the future in the day of judgment. The sun will ask for permission to come back, and then Allah will not order it, will not allow it to go back to go back and rise from the east. He will order it to go and rise from the west. How do you explain that? Uh, you think God can't do that? You think God can't do that? See, you are contradicting yourself. So now you are Come saying. On. So now you are saying this is true. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not you saying it's false. Said, I'm not saying said, anything. I'm only you just, trying you to. You just said, do you think God cannot do that? Yes, you think God cannot do that? 
Yeah, but this is mean. This is true. So this is what will happen. Yeah, but this is this. You have to answer yes or no first this before is you say it's this true is, or not. But this is mean. You this have is, to answer yes or no. This is. Did you answer yes or no? No, no. Your God cannot do that. I told you many times. Secondly, secondly, how you can do something? It's not. It's not right. Uh, God, so, will not, God will not. God will so, not. God is not a fairy tale story. He will say, "Okay, and now I will order you to go back from the from rise from the west." That is stupid because this is this is not true. This is not what happening. This is not what reality is. So the story here presents for us that you have a God. He is a cartoonist, and he is a fool. And you are saying to me that we Muslim at that time in the seventh century we were we were a bunch of fool. So Allah decided to fool us by giving us false explanation. Have nothing to do with reality. This is not what I'm saying. You are twisting the things again now. Okay, tell me now, what the purpose of this story? <laughs> what the purpose of Allah telling us wrong information? If he keep his mouth shut, it's better than... No, it's the people of that time. They should understand what is the power but of Allah. They do not understand. They understand nothing. They understand... They understand yeah, but now they, but they, now they got a fiction. They did not get the, the understanding. If they didn't understand, why are they the second biggest uh, religion in the world? If they didn't understand, as per Islam you. is the biggest religion the in the Buddhism world. The, so what, the, so, the, so what is the, so what the, is the Christian the religion? Has to be. Islam now is the biggest religion in the world? Second biggest. <laughs> Second biggest. So that means right. you are wrong then again. I mean, even, you, even your logic is stupid because if it is how big it is, we are bigger. So you are now wrong, based in your based in your logic. What, come on, don't use that. Who care about how many people they are? Even if they are one Muslim, if Islam is a true religion, it's a true religion. If there's a billion, who care? So I'm asking you now, when Allah, he used such a logic, and this logic mislead the people, because now he mislead them. He did lie to them. The sun goes nowhere. What about Muhammad being smart and says, you know what, the sun goes nowhere? It is the earth is going around. You're saying, you're, you're saying mislead. And then you also you are agreeing with me. It's the second biggest religion in the world. Make up your mind, see. No, I am not agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with your logic. It's a stupid logic because you're trying to prove to me. You are trying to prove to me that you are. You are trying to prove to me that you are right because you are the second religion in the world. But this won't prove you right because but that prove you wrong actually. Because if the bigger one is oh. the right one, if the bigger one is the right one, that means we are the right and they are wrong. In Islamic Christianity, they are they oppose each other. So if it's about yeah. who is the it's big, we are the biggest. Bigger and you are, and you are, and is, who care? Come on, speak to me as an adult. Bigger doesn't so, decide the truth. Listen, listen. Okay. C so, C so size. Bigger doesn't decide the truth. Okay, no bigger problem. That's doesn't good. decide the truth. Okay, that's the good. Truth that's the truth is the truth. That's good. What is the truth here? Tell me the truth. The truth, there's only one God. Simple. This is not and what I'm talking about. everybody who it is, whether I mean, he's a how your he's God Muslim can be or Christian God, or a Judaism or whatever, okay. well, he has to come back to the one God. Where will you go when you die, CP? Where will you go? My friend. Where will you go when you die? How your God. You go back to God, right? You go back to your creator. Don't give me about the literature. If I tell you about death, now you will die. In your prophet, he said that when you die, there is somebody will go, there's 99 dragons will go inside your anus. You want to show me? Show you? Yeah, yeah, all this thing, all this, I've heard all this. Okay, so your prophet, that, obviously, that fine. so your okay, prophet, but you're, 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 you're missing the main point. You're a prophet, you're missing is, the main is, is point. scaring you, is it scaring you? Uh, making, you're missing, you're stories. going away from the main point. What main come point? Back, come listen, back, listen. come back to zero. Allah. Come back to zero. Your I, terms, come back to zero. Let us go back to zero. I will go back to zero. What yes. is the, what is I'm the telling you what that is the, purpose, the things explain. What is the purpose of Muhammad lie here? He is lying, obviously. This is false. The purpose Why? of explaining things in what? words which the people from the seventh century but would this is understand the explanation doesn't make sense but to the you explanation now. Is false. And it makes sense to the people at the seventh century. Doesn't matter. It makes sense to who. It's false. What about he gave the right explanation? God, a prophet God. of God, my friend, okay, a, anyway, a prophet of God, it was, it was a prophet of God, do he care really, point, do he care really people, so what people will say? You're a prophet. Have a nice day, CP. Carry on. Have a nice day. You're you a prophet. will not understand what I'm saying. No, Thank you very much. No problem. Bye -bye. But you are smart and you're a prophet Bye -bye. for sure. Uh, you're a prophet was accused Bye -bye. to me. I, I, can, I continue listening to your show, so I'm here. On no the problem. problem. You are welcome, my friend. You are welcome. No problem. We'll talk again later. No problem. No problem. Bye-bye. Okay. So they excuse now. Yeah, we agree that Muhammad he is making poo poo, but you know what? He don't mean to. He was just speaking to people at that time. People at that time they are stupid, so he have to act. To have, he have to be stupid like them. You're a prophet. Many time in the Quran, more than six times, he was accused that he is a crazy man.
Now, accusing him to be crazy doesn't make him crazy. Unless he is. You mentioned to me the cell phone, right? But already they are accusing him to be crazy.